Yo, 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 what is up my gladiator? Sam here, and we are back once again with another story time. This particular story uh, leaves off kind of when I was a kid. Um, we had some cabins in Utah, and they were really, really nice cabins. We would go up there every single weekend. This is when I was in high school. And uh, I would just play in the woods all day long. It was just the one of the nicest experiences of my entire life. I would actually even build like uh, tree forts and stuff and little huts in the wood. And then there was also like a ravine, right? That went right through our property. And in the ravine, if you went down in into the ravine, there would be uh, like clay along the walls. And I would be able to take that clay and then like form it into little pots and stuff like that. It was just the coolest experience ever. Well, anyways, one day I decided to bring a, a friend of mine uh, out to the uh, to the cabin and, and my dad and I, we'd always gone out and we'd always go backpacking and then stay overnight in the woods. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I want to do that, but I want to take my friend backpacking out into the woods. He's never gone hiking. He's never gone camping. He's never done any of that stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just be the man. And I'm going to show him how it's done, how you go camping. And I'd obviously never gone out by myself into the woods and just uh, set up a, you know, a tent and, and done all those things. But, you know, I was going to try it for the first time. So I invited my friend uh, out to the cabin with us. And we have these massive, huge backpacks, right? They were just ginormous. And it was filled with all of our camping gear. We had you know, tents and sleeping bags and food and, you know, everything you need. So you have these just gi ginormous backpacks and they're very, very heavy. And um, I also brought uh, like a samurai sword just in case because, you know, back when I was a teenager, I'd like, I was like samurais. I love that, that, that sort of thing. And so I actually brought that sword with me. And then so we uh, decide to hike off into the woods. And this is, you know, fairly far away from our property, but uh, close enough to where, you know, I know where everything is, right? Um, and we just go trekking into the woods. Um, as we're going through the woods, you know, we're obviously getting farther and farther away from our uh, camp or from our uh, cabin. And we're pretty deep into the woods at this point. And there's, there's some hills around, and then there's this giant open valley. And we start going through uh, into the next set of hills. And I look to the left into the open valley, and there's a little bit of a, um, a river. And in the river uh, is a deer that um, isn't doing too hot, to, to say the least. They seem to have ran into, you know, like a bear or something like that. Um, fairly recently, like maybe within the past couple of days or whatever, and they they were pretty messed up. They, they weren't alive anymore, um, and that was a little like oh, that's that's pretty spooky. And I it kind of like uh, freaked my my friend out a little bit, and we just uh, decided to uh, continue on into the woods, uh, and then we find a really nice spot, kind of off to the side where there's you know a little bit of a of a clearing. And then there are some trees off to the left. And then we kind of go into the uh, trees, but we still know where everything is. We know where we are. Um, but we're very, very miles and miles and miles away from our cabin at this point. Um, so we decide to set up camp and all that great stuff. Then when night, uh, you know, falls upon us, we uh, make a, a little fireplace and we're hanging out and we're having fun. Then, uh, you know, it starts to get really, really dark. And if anyone knows what I'm talking about when it gets dark, it gets really dark in the woods, right? Because in society and stuff, and because we're, we're used to just little lights and stuff, lights from our computer or lights from whatever, and that will really light up a room. But when you're out in the woods and it's maybe kind of cloudy and you don't see the stars and you don't see the uh, moon it is just pitch black it is like the equiv the equivalent of closing your eyes that is how dark it is outside it is just complete and utter darkness and there is absolutely no way you can see too far in front of you you have to really stare out 
and um, focus your eyes because your eyes can slowly adapt uh, to the darkness and then you'll be able to, so you kind of have like a night vision thing um, if you stay in the dark for long enough. Anyways, uh, it's um, time to uh, head to bed and we uh, set up our sleeping bags and all that great stuff. Then when we're sitting around uh, in the tent playing cards and whatnot, uh, I hear this sound uh, comes off probably like the right side of our tent and I don't know I don't know what it was. It was just like this thing and then I'm like, what the heck? And my friend, he freaks out a little bit because he's never been out in the woods like this and he's like, what was that? And I'm just like, oh, don't worry about it, dude. It, was, it sounded like a moose or something. Obviously, I was lying because I had no clue what that was. But I'm not going to start freaking him out, right? Because that's just going to make the situation worse. And there's no way we'd be able to pack up and just straight up leave because it is pitch black outside. Like I said, it is so dark that if you went outside you could close your eyes and it would still be the equivalent of, of how dark it is. When I was a kid, I would um, go out into, into the woods uh, like this at our cabin and I would uh, close my eyes and stuff because uh, in there was a particular samurai movie where there's a samurai and, and he, uh, was blind f or he was blind and he was able to do all this crazy samurai stuff. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I wonder if I could um, still function, but without, you know, my eyes and, and without being able to see. So I would try to wander around in the woods without being able to see. And uh, that was kind of like a fun challenge for me, but it just goes to show like, that's how insanely dark it is. There's no way we could have left. Right. And I hear this sound and it freaks me out. My heart's pumping. I'm like, what the heck is that? But there's nothing we can really do. Not much you can do about that type of situation. So we just, uh, I just tell him, you know, hey, let's, let's, let's go to bed now. And then I have to use the, the bathroom. Um, so I have to leave the tent and I'm walking out and uh, I have to go fairly far away from the tent. You know, I walk uh, 15, 20 feet out. Not, not, not that far, but you know, far enough. And I go behind a tree and I look down and I start, you know, doing my business and I just hear this crack, right? And my friend obviously wasn't him. He's in the tent. I heard it in front of me. I heard it directly in front of me. And I quickly shoot up my eyes and I'm scanning the area and I'm trying to like focus in and trying to get that night vision. And, um... I thought I saw something directly in front of me, just, you know, a few trees down. And it was very large. It was too small to be another tree. It was too wide to, to not be a tree. I don't know really what it was. It just looked like this almost like a, a large man standing there, right? Um, and I'm just like staring straight at whatever it is. And I try to convince myself it's probably just like a rock or something that's placed fairly close to the tree. And it is, you know, it's confusing me. So I remember the location. I remember what, uh, where I saw that. And I go back to bed and, you know, play it off. It's all cool. Cause if I'm going to start going crazy, if I'm going to start freaking out, that's just going to make the situation worse. There's no good that can come out of me like skin scared about all this, right? You just have to deal with it and go to sleep and wake up in the morning. Um, so we do that. We wake up in the morning and the first thing I do when I wake up is I, uh, I go out and I, um, look at that area because obviously it's daytime. I can see now I look at that area where I thought I saw that, that rock and there was no rock. There was nothing there to be found. And I knew exactly where that location was. Nothing. So, I don't know what I saw. But, I, I, don't, walk, I don't walk around with my eyes closed in the woods anymore, to say the least. So, we just, we packed up really quick. Um, and then we just kind of jetted home. And I like to, I kind of made like a challenge out of running home um, b 
because I really wanted to get home fast, but I didn't want to scare my friend and then he, he would start to panic. So I just kind of like, all right, let's, let's go fast. Uh -huh, I'm going to beat you. And then I'm just like running as fast as I can home, <laughs> you know, miles. I was just trekking with a big backpack on for miles. Just like boom, boom, boom. I got to get home. You know what I'm saying? So it was a pretty spooky experience. Not sure what I saw, but I saw something. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the uh, video there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please hit up with a like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.